are pretty amazing. So one time I came here on the beach drop with a couple of friends and I had this friend of mine who took his KLR 650 onto the creek and we had to like fish it out. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. Right here, smoke hole road, great road and it doubles back. But American Legion, what is this? Oh, no kickstand. Oh man. Good thing the saddlebacks kind of help. Alfredo's Pizza. So this is what Petersburg looks like. 64 degrees. It's definitely warming up nicely. That's the Popo. Popo is hidden over there. All right, Subway it is. I love Subway. Right, Subway. Eat fresh. <laughs> All right, we just filled up at Subway. That Versus 1000 is quite fascinating. So, that has got fuel. It's got electronic suspension and it's got like lean sensors, it's got apps for his phone and everything. It's just amazing. Just amazing. Well, it's like I'm riding the most antiquated bike here. And he's got the SD1300, which I used to have. But his is a special like police one. It's got all of these other things that most bikes do not have. Uh, that bike looks good with the the bags. I think I'm gonna switch to touring right here, just so it's not like all lumpy. I'm very impressed with the Versys. You know, the Versys is an underdog of a bike. Nobody seems to really care too much about it, but that's a 1,000 cc bike. It's got more horsepower than this. He's got an app that tells him like what his lean for the day is. It's got lights on the side and when you lean it's got three LEDs per side so as you're leaning it kind of flashes and lets you know how how like close to the ground you're getting and then it tells you on the dash your lean angle so if you ever like over lean it'll let you know like it's a crash kind of safety thing for cornering kind of fascinating this is called eagle's nest oh is that a cop over there i think a cop lives over there this awesome looking area here things have definitely slowed down because of all of this traffic that's a, a twisty killer right there that s that big truck in front big cement truck kills everything okay we want to go not on 55 Definitely being very careful now because there's apparently quite a bit of dirt. It's hard to see. It looks almost clean, but the way you can tell that it's kind of uh, gravel or pea gravel is that I'm looking at his tires and I am seeing like dirt just getting like thrown up quite a bit. A little bit. I am um, not exactly on the level today here. I think we're gonna go straight onto 55. This is a great loop. Look at this, it's so awesome looking. 
And this area is so dirty. Like these roads, man. There's like these this pea gravel you can't see. And I'm glad that even Sean is like slowing down for it because it's so difficult to see. He must have slid or something. And he's like slowing down quite a bit. But he also knows the roads really well. Yeah, there's a lot of gravel, like pea gravel. Yeah. Yeah, see? I knew that's why he slowed down. I'm looking at his tire and it's just like kicking like a, a dust storm. But I can't really see the gravel. Welcome to Wardensville. We just left Wardensville. Oh no. Ah! Ah, these people ruined my experience. I was doing so well. Oh man, Jesus, this ruins everything. You know, we are on our way back to DC, so. Oh uh, yeah, there's people passing that truck, but that truck destroyed, destroyed our fun. The famous wind blown lives around here. We need to set up a rally over here. Northern Virginia, mm, not so pretty, but this Virginia is beautiful. Well, I'm hopping on Route 66 with the Versys 1000 behind me. And man, that's uh, that was a great ride, but now this is all slab, as the hip kids call it. Look at this cop. So hidden over there. I hope he didn't like grab me. I'm not going too fast. OMG, look at this, guys. A Toyota Echo. Oh, that Ford Transit looks pretty good. Ford 150 Transit Explorer. Well, guys, I just got home on the Super Tenre. I did about, I think, 420 miles today, and a pretty good, uh, pretty good back roads and everything. The tire held up really well. That's a really good tire. It's a 130, so it's a little bit smaller, but it held extremely well. I didn't slip or anything. And yeah, uh, thanks to Sean for leading the way. And that was like some really great back roads, man. Really great. Let's pull this beast into the garage. All right, squids. I appreciate the gas money. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, oh it's a deep burn. Oh, it's so deep. Ah. Oh, I could barely lift my right arm because I did so many. <laughs> I'm stuck here. The cops won't bother me.